In this video, you will see how audio effects can be applied to an entire file or to a specific range. Play the file. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. The recording sounds as if it were recorded in a small room. Select the Reverb effect in the Effects menu. Open the preset menu and select Small Hall. Click on Preview to check the settings. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. Change the preset to Cathedral. Listen to the preview. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. And click OK to accept the settings. Play the file. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. It was automatically extended at the back so that the reverb time could finish sounding at the end. You can also apply effects to parts of the file so that the rest stays untouched. We'll add an echo to the very last word. Select the last word at the end of the file. Play the selection to make sure that you have selected the right part. Word. Select the delay effect and make settings. Click on the preview button to listen to the effect. Word. 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 Click on OK to apply the effect and play back the file. The delay effect will now be applied only to the last word of the recording. We'll add an echo to the very last word. 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 To apply multiple effects one after the other, you can create a plug-in chain. In the FX Favorites menu, select the Apply Plugin Chain option. In the Plugin window, click on the front symbol and select your plugins. Finally, you can rearrange the effect chain as you like. Select a plugin and drag it to a different position. This will change the order of the effect processing. Set the effects in the dialog as you like and finally click on OK to apply the effects chain to the file. 